Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spicy Licks. For those of you that are new here, basically this is a little series that I do on this channel where I take licks that I've written and I show you how to play them and talk a bit about techniques and theory used to create these licks. So today's lick you heard in the intro, it was inspired by a guy called Tom Quayle. And Tom Quayle is a monster fusion player and an absolute master of the legato technique. So if you really like this kind of playing, then I recommend checking out his website and his YouTube channel. He's got a bunch of free lessons on his YouTube channel, but he also sells courses on things like legato technique and jazz harmony and all that good stuff. Um, I personally have his Modern Legato 1 tutorial. Um, I've had that for a few years now and I have to say it really has helped with the dexterity of my left hand. So yeah, if you want to improve your legato playing, go check out Tom's website and his YouTube channel. Anyway, moving on, this lick is based around the C Dorian scale or mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you know what Dorian is, then feel free to skip ahead to the time code displayed on screen. If you don't know what Dorian is, I'll try and explain it very briefly right now. Um, I'll start by saying that this video is not a lesson on the seven modes of the major scale, so I'm not going to go into too much depth on this, but I'll at least give you a brief explanation of what Dorian is. Dorian is the second mode of the major scale, which means its intervals are measured from the second degree of the major scale. So in C Dorian, B flat major would be the parent scale that C Dorian comes from. It sounds like this. And you can see there that if I start that from one note lower on B flat, we have the B major scale. So this is what C Dorian sounds like. It's made up of the following intervals. So we have the root, major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, and I always find sixth really hard to say, sorry, um, and minor seventh. And then we're back to the root. So root, major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, minor seventh, back to the root. So because it has a minor third and a minor seventh interval, Dorian will work very well over minor seventh chords. So if you're playing a progression that uses a minor seventh chord as the sort of tonal center, I guess, then Dorian can work very well. But this is dependent on the other chords in the progression, but I'm not gonna go into that because that's a video for another day. But anyway, this lick is just played over a static C minor seventh chord vamp, so we don't have to worry about any other chords for this. All we need to think about is the C minor seventh chord and Dorian, of course, will work very well over that. So let's listen to the lick once again, and then I'll teach you how to play it. first part of the lick goes like this. Now there is one note there that isn't part of C Dorian and it's this note here which is the note B. Now in the key of C minor the note B would be a major seventh interval and as we know the C Dorian scale has a minor seventh interval not a major seventh. So you might think that this note has just been thrown in at random as a chromatic passing note. But you could view it as the seventh degree of the C melodic minor scale, which is very similar to Dorian, the only difference being that it has a major seventh, and as already mentioned, Dorian has a minor seventh. So here is the C Dorian scale. And here is the C melodic minor scale. Anyway, the technique that you'd use to play this phrase uses a combination of pick and middle finger. I'm not trying to be rude there. Um, so you start by picking the first note on the low E string, which is fret eight. 
then pull off to five and hammer on all of the other notes. So that's pick eight, pull off to five, hammer on to six, seven and eight again. Then you use your middle finger to pluck the first note on the A string at fret five and hammer on and pull off the rest of the notes. So you're gonna go five, eight, five, six, eight. The next part of the lick goes like this. Again, you're going to use your middle finger to pluck the D string and use hammer-ons and pull-offs. So that's 5, 8, 5, 6, 7. Now fret 6 here, which is an A flat, is also not part of the C Dorian scale. I just view this note as a chromatic passing note. As far as I can tell, it doesn't fit into any scale that could be used interchangeably with C Dorian, but I could be wrong on that. So if you want to correct me, then leave a comment below. So then you're gonna pluck five on the G string with your middle finger. And then we're gonna reintroduce the pick. So pick seven and hammer onto eight on the D string like so. So that's where we are currently. And then pluck the G string with the middle finger and hammer on to seven and eight. So you're starting at five. So pluck five, hammer on to seven, hammer on to eight. Now for this next bit, you're gonna move your, you're gonna change the position of your hand slightly. You're gonna move your first finger to fret six on the B string. And this is gonna make it easier to transition to the next part of the lick. Um, so you're gonna pluck six on the B string with your middle finger and hammer on to eight and pick fret eight on the G string. So here is that entire part of the lick. And together with the first part. The very last few notes sound like this. So this fret seven on the B here is the flat five that's found in the C blues scale. So you can use the C blues scale and the C minor pentatonic scale interchangeably with the C Dorian scale, if you didn't already know. So pluck the B string with your middle finger starting on fret six, and hammer on the other two notes. So that's six, seven, eight. Then pluck the high E. Pick fret eight on the B string, pluck six on the high E, hammer on to eight, and slide up to 10. So that's that part of the lick again. That brings us to the end of the lick, so the whole thing played together sounds like this. And here's a close-up of my picking hand so that you can see exactly what's going on there. All right, that does it for today's lick, guys. So I guess the main concepts that you can take away from this lick are that when you're playing in C Dorian, or Dorian in any key for that matter, you can throw in the major seventh interval to spice it up a bit now and then and give it a bit of that melodic minor flavor. So we had that at the start of the lick with the note B, which is the major seventh of C, which technically doesn't belong to Dorian, but does belong to the melodic minor scale. So it can sound good to throw in that interval here and there.
but I wouldn't recommend staying on that note for too long because it will eventually start to sound like it's clashing with the minor seventh chord. And the use of picked and hybrid picked notes with the middle finger. That comes from Tom's legato technique and I believe it to be a very efficient method for playing legato based licks. Although I should point out that when you are hybrid picking the strings and playing legato licks, you should try and avoid plucking the string excessively because legato is meant to sound smooth. Um, so you don't want to pluck the string too hard and make certain notes jump out. Unless that's specifically what you're going for, but usually when you're playing legato, you want all the notes to sound very smooth and like they've not even been picked at all really. So it's quite a different sound that you're going for there as opposed to using hybrid picking for country licks where you can really dig into the string to get that twangy plucked sound. I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have suggestions, or styles that you'd like me to cover in future episodes of Spicy Licks, please do let me know by dropping a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more free content every week.